we watched video, we talked, uh, we realized about many of the mistakes we made and we'll try to correct. Without that in consideration, it, it's still tough because they are, they are good, they are talented and they know each other very well. Uh, they know us very well. Um, so we will we'll try to, with those adjustments, go and compete harder even. So to, to try to close that difference, that gap. Has this been the strangest season you've been a part of? Definitely, definitely. In every aspect and since I became a pro because I always been part of very steady, reliable and consistent type of uh, teams. And this year we had a, the rotations so complicated, um, but uh, it's part of the past. Regular season is over. Now we got everybody that's going to play, and we got to uh, face the Warriors with what we have the best way possible. And we haven't done it in game one. Coach Kerr yesterday said he knows. Coach who? Coach huh? Kerr said he knows you guys are going to bring it today. So is it difficult to get off that first punch when they are expecting it? I mean, we were supposed to bring it game one, too. So we are supposed to bring it every game, and they should be expecting it every game. So we get them, we give them one uh, without um, working that hard. I mean, they play great, and they made a lot of shots, but we were not very um, attentive to the details, too many mistakes. Um, they kill us at the boards also. So hopefully we give, a, we give them a better fight uh, and see, you know, if we get to a close game down the stretch, if we... Uh, can get away with it. This is a, a little off topic, but uh, there's been a lot of discussion this year about the referees, um, and I was just curious what your opinion was of, of the referees at this point. What do you think that maybe some of the reason that there's been some issues with players and refs or even coaches with the refs is the fact that there's kind of been a changing of the guard the last couple of years in terms of a lot of guys being Crawford and Joey and um, Monty now going to the office, like some of the veteran longtime officials kind of changing out for no, I really didn't notice any big major difference. Uh, it's, it's a very tough job that they have. They have uh, 10 players trying to mess up with them, <laughs> trying to trick them. Uh, whatever decision they make, they got five complaining plus right. the, right. the bench. Right. So uh, I think they do a good job and they are good communicating. Of course, you always can get better. Um, but uh, I think they've done a good job. So do you think some of the, the do you think a lot of the talk about the issues that have been between I, the players and the refs has been overblown then? I have no idea what, what talks are you mentioning. I, uh, okay. Maybe I'm out of the loop uh, on, yeah. the, uh, on, on the thing, but I, I didn't even know seriously sure. that there were some issues about that. No. What uh, Dirk just said last week that he, he's definitely planning on coming back next year. Um, what, what will you go through in terms of a thought process in terms of deciding what you're you coming um, as I've done in the last two, three seasons, I'll sit back, relax, and see after a month, two months, how, how I feel if I feel retired or not. So, not um, well, he's done with the season. Right. We are not yet, and uh, I like to to let it season a little bit, see how, how I feel. So, don't expect uh, any news till July, probably. Is there, is there any advice or anything that you can say to any of your young guys about this entire process and what they're facing that makes it easier for them, or is it something they just have to experience? No, you have to learn it playing. You gotta face it. You gotta have the opportunity to play against uh, Clay Thompson, against uh, Durant, Curry, if he was here, um, because he, 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 you end up being better and. You end up learning, and things that you only learn while playing against this guy, like you know, back in the day with, with Kobe, or with whoever you had to face. So um, the, the playoff experience is quite different from the regular season, and it's it's just a great learning experience to to participate, to go through tough times, to you know have some good games, uh, and see the ups and downs of your emotions, and, and try to control them to to face the next game. So uh, you you can talk all day long. But you gotta, you gotta feel it. Thanks, Thanks.